What is going on everyone? How are you doing? I hope you're doing good because it is good to feel good and I love the good old positive cheeky vibes. I like my Nando's cheeky. I love everything in life cheeky. That sounds a bit weird. But yeah, I like cheeky things. And you would join me again with another story time of Ollie because quite frankly I have not done one of these in a while. I know my life in my opinion is full of like you know some interesting stories that you know need to be told one day and this is about an incident I got involved in a couple of years ago and uh, and yeah this is the story of that incident. <laughs> So before I go on about this story, um, I just want to give a little background on this. So looking back at my, you know, my time at school, um, I, like I, gem I was looking back and thinking, was I ever, you know, did I ever get into trouble or, you know, do anything majorly stupid that, you know, caused me to get the deep shit? And I was looking back and thinking, no, not really. I mean, I... Rarely, I'm gonna say this and be completely honest, I rarely, if ever, got in trouble at school. Like, say it was that there was a one-off um, after school detention that I got, and I was I was so mad about that, like, that. Uh, but as I say, that was a one-off. Like, there was rarely, you know, there were no detentions whatsoever, like, only that one-off occasion that happened. And yeah, going on about that, I was just you know, generally a good kid at school. Cause it's always nice to be a good boy. It's always nice to be, you know, just a well-behaved kid. Like, I don't get, you know, people who act all rebellious or, you know, act all, you know, silly and that at school and think it's cool. Because, you know, it's going to come and affect you one day. So school was all fine for me. But when I came to look at college, I remember... Oh yeah, there was this one big incident that I got involved in. Well, it was me. I was the sole culprit who got involved in it. And here is that story. So, when I went to Florida a couple of years ago for Playlist Live, um, I never actually told any of my tutors that I was going to, you know, um, America, essentially, and, you know, I just kept it all un all under wraps, I only told friends and family that I was going, like, no word had gone out to any of my tutors whatsoever, um, I just, just, I think I was just too scared to tell them that, you know, I was, I was going, and the fact that I was doing it during term time as well, that's one thing that got me in major trouble was the fact that I went during term time, because... Ironically, the week after I got back was the week of half term. So, if only Playlist Live was happening that week, and then you know maybe I wouldn't have gone into so much trouble. But yeah, that happened, and yeah, I got into some big trouble over that. So yeah, I never told any you know tutors or anything about you know me going to America. I mean, um, I remember telling a white lie that you know I was doing something on those days and that I couldn't be in college on those days. But yeah, never telling them that I was going to America. But another awkward thing was the fact that during this week where um, I went to America, um, it was in a thing called Employability Week or Work Related Learning Week. I think it was called Employability Week. Yeah, that's what it was called. So we had a thing on called Work Employability Week where basically you could take part in physical activities, you know, activities that are related to your course so for example we had this drama group coming for us and um you know we did a whole session on improvisation that was cool um so in that week you had to do a total of, or a minimum of 10 hours to you know um just basically make up for you know not doing you know um lessons or sessions in that week so no lessons or anything that week just you know stuff that was you know related to your course or physical activities or stuff like that so i only actually did two days of this work related learning week because obviously the wednesday was the day in which i flew out to florida and so yeah in in my first day which was a monday i was only in for about two hours doing um this yoga yoga session and that was pretty good i like a good old bit of yoga namaste 
And then the Tuesday, um, as I say, we had this, you know, drama group come in and we did a whole session on improvisation and that took up about another two hours. And then that was it. That was me done for that week. And then of course the Wednesday rolled around and that was the day in which I flew to Florida. And as I've recounted before, when I landed in Florida, I got called aside and questioned about why I was in America, essentially. And looking back at that now, I think saying, oh yeah, I got interrogated, boasting about the fact that I got interrogated, I think it's just a bit of an over-exaggeration, because quite frankly, if you get interrogated, you know some more crazy shit is going to go down, but obviously, all, all, I simply, all that simply happened was I just got questioned about why I was in the country. N nothing more. Just a couple of questions. And that was that. And then, of course, you know, I have that week in Florida, we get, and then that weekend of Playoffs Live. That was all cool on that. And then, of course, the following week, I flew back to England. And the day that I flew back was actually a day of normal college during my first year. And obviously, I wasn't in. And I think my tutors were wondering where I was. And I don't know who said it, but someone spilled the beans that, you know, I was in Florida for a week and that I'd only just gone back into the country. So yeah, I could assume that, you know, my tutors were a bit pissed off, you know, knowing that he's not in the country, especially when he needs to be in college, as a bit of a, and they're probably thinking, oh yeah, Ollie's doing, Ollie's taking the piss he is. But yeah, that, so the word got out, and then of course the following day, which was the Wednesday, was my first day back in college since leaving for Florida, and I remember I had, a, I had my first session of the day, and then, then, yeah. So basically what happened was all of the performing arts lot got called into the drama studio, or the dance studio, it's basically a two in one really. So we all got called in to the studio and basically there was some of us who hadn't done, you know, 10 hours of work related learning week. So on one side of the studio, there was this group of people who had done 10 hours or more and they were getting all, you know, showered with praise and that, you know, and like there was someone who did like over 20 hours, which again, is quite cool, but yeah. And then, and then, and then of course there was the lot who had done less than 10 hours, maybe even lower than five, Yep, yep, you can see where this is going. And yeah, we were all, everyone who had done less than 10 hours basically got named and shamed. And I obviously, I was on that list. And I remember one of my tutors saying, and she had a Brummie accent, so I can't do a good Brummie accent, but she was like, back from America, I hope it was worth it. Of course it bloody was. Basically us lot who did less than 10 hours, basically had to do and basically we had to come in during the half term week which was you know the week after this and you know we had to make up essentially for the hours that we missed and um i was able to make up you know for my six hours that i missed during that week and you know all we really had to do during that you know the day i came in was just you know catch up on you know work that hadn't been completed or just you know doing work you know for the future and focusing on that so, yeah, that happened, and mm. and now coming to think about that, I can't think what was worse. The, um, me getting called aside for questioning, or the massive bollocking that I got from my tutors for missing college. So yeah, just compare the two. What do you think's worse? Leave, leave, let, let me know in the comments below, and um, tell me what's worse. And oh, a year later, it could have been a whole lot worse. So. Um, essentially, when I went to Los Angeles, the day before was my final day ever at college. Like, um, one of my tutors, one of them in particular, um, was hinting that we would have to come in, you know, on one day, um, towards the end of June to, you know, just, you know, have our sign off and, you know, that would be us done with college. And I was like, shit, I'm going to be in LA at the end of June. And um, also another thing we did was we did this um, big showcase in Milton Keynes, like in the shopping center. And we were like, oh God, I found me, I found missed that, I'm screwed. So um, when they mentioned the dates, I was like, 
Phew, I dodged a bullet there. So yeah, so the dates that I had to come in for college were the 18th of June, which was a Saturday in which we were all doing our big showcase in Milton Keynes, Col in, not Milton Keynes College, but in the MK Shopping Center. Then the 20th, the Monday, which was the day in which we all had our big sign off. And I was like, oh, imagine that, imagine that, but I dodged a bullet. So yeah, so that is my story of how I got into massive shit over missing college for, for you know, essentially wanting to go to America. Um, um, looking back at this, probably it's not a good idea, you know, if I wanted to do it, you know, in my job or if I were to go to uni one day and, you know, I'd miss, you know, a couple of days of uni to, you know, go somewhere in the world. Never a good idea to anyone who has done it before, just to let you know you're not the only one. But yeah, that's that. It's a it's a life lesson essentially that I've learned from never to you know miss or miss time off you know say work or education when you're like desperately needed so yeah not a good idea anyway thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the story I know I enjoyed recounting it because it, you know it, there's it's just one of those things that you know it happened in my life and you know I can talk about it and yeah. I look forward to telling more stories in the future. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and like, comment, subscribe, and share the love. See ya!